People are dead like dog, no. Like, you know, like you might think you might not like it until you try it. She came on my property and stepped on my grass because snail. Don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna try no frog legs. Or um, rats. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Or a dog, if I haven't ate it already, let's be real. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a very special guest here who you probably haven't seen in a years on my channel. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But you haven't seen her in a long time. <laughs> Anisha Adam. Yay, we're back. We're, we're back. back together. Do you yeah. remember our sit down video where we compared Canada and the United States? Yes, we did that. And then what other videos did we We did a couple. On your channel or? On um, your, both of our we channels. We did um, got the our relationship Yeah, one. experience dating like Jamaican, Jamaican men. men. And you guys love that one. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be we have some more in store for you on my channel But you guys have to just subscribe to her channel and mine to stay tuned for that and check the description box Because the at Anisha you'll be able to click on it and go over to her channel watch her videos and subscribe yes. If you want more Jamaica related content check Anisha out <laughs> um, So in today's video we will be talking about what we learned in 2021 Yeah, so, this year was pretty rough Last year was rough, and we expected this year to be better, but we learned we learned a lot of things. So, do you want to go first and tell me maybe one thing you learned? Yes. The first thing that I learned this year is that being too honest with people will actually make you get you more hate than love in return. So, to specify, so if you're being way too honest, like say if you're close to somebody and you're just really blunt and honest with them, I feel like in return, this is what I learned, in return, those who don't appreciate it, I have to highlight that because there's some people who do appreciate it, but those who don't appreciate it, they're just not gonna like you. A lot of people, the truth hurts, that whole saying there is actually real life. Yeah. So a lot of people are not gonna like you if you tell them the truth all the time. So I realized this year that sometimes it's better if you just like, I don't wanna sound weird and say like go around people, or just like try to say things or not say anything at all. Try to say things in a way tailored that, to that person, maybe. Yeah, or just like I just feel like people who are fake or who are just not honest, mm -hmm. they are liked way more than people who are more genuine and like blunt and like um, just honest. Mm -hmm. And that's what I learned this year. I just feel like. I had to learn that not all the time you should be on. It sounds bad, but this is just literally how real life is. Being honest with people all the time just doesn't really get you far. A lot of people won't like you. I think and people are gonna picture you as you as like a someone who's hating on them. Yeah, or you're miserable all the time. You're mean. You're rude. Like no, like I'm actually be doing the best thing for you by being honest about whatever we're talking about. So I just learned that I'm gonna stop doing that stuff. I rather go so around it's like, people. Maybe and, sometimes like keep your opinions to yourself, kind of or, but. I feel like it's tailored to, like you said, your friend group. Because if your family and friend, or your close friends, or your good, good friends know that you are looking out for their best interests, then they're not going to see it in a bad way. Yeah. But even in general, too, when you're talking, like, just with people in general, just being fake will get you farther. I know people will be like, no, Nietzsche, like, being honest is much better. Yeah, we know it's a better ideology and way you want to live life. But I'm telling you, you will be hated more than loved. For being too honest with people so that's true that yeah that's the first thing i learned this year i went through some stuff and i'm like listen you don't appreciate honest people my it probably would have been better if i was fake but yeah that's so. true like when i did the jamaica 10 13 things i hate about jamaica or 10 things i hate and you're like oh you're hating jamaica so much so like i said being honest does it, it doesn't get, get you a lot far. of fakeness will get you far that's what i learned and even if you look in different spheres in this place let me just give celebrities for um example like you know how certain celebrities just go silent on issues mm -hmm. they do it for a reason because if you're too honest and you support a uh, black lives matter oh people are not going to want to work with you anymore because you're telling them too much you're being too honest about who you are and your values and your morals and like being silent being fake about stuff people like you more people appreciate you more yeah mm -hmm. and that's just how i realized and this is the year that i'm just like i don't know people don't really deserve my honesty so I understand. Yeah, that's it. One thing I learned this year is not everybody is your friend. Oh, why was I even talking about that after? That's crazy. You know, not on. everybody is your friend. Uh, not everybody wants the best for you. Ooh, and why was I going to say this as my second point? Yo, because it's true. <clears throat> and I, we both learned that, I guess. Like, I've always known it, but 
it, it just showed itself a lot this year. Yeah, same And way. that you can work with people, you can be cordial with people, but they're not your friends. And even my mom says that, like, sometimes I used to say, oh, my friend, my fr that, that's not your friend. That's your coworker. Yeah. That's your that's acquaintance. An acquaintance yeah. But that's not your friend. Stop treating everybody like they're your friend because when push comes to shove and they actually have to be a friend, you're not going to get that because they were never your friend. So I learned, I learned that. And I know a lot of you guys have felt that too. So that's yeah. one big thing I learned. And you can work with people, you know, like they, you don't have to be friends with someone to work with them or engage with them. But yeah, keep it pushing. Yeah. I just know what they are for, or know who they are for who they are. Yeah, that, I agree. Like so, some people aren't real. I was saying that how I'm gonna start censoring myself and stuff, so it's kind of contradicting to this point too, but people aren't real, man. Like they are not real and you find out later on like the same people that you're laughing and joking with they're the same ones checking about you with people and then if you and them get into an argument you start realizing all the stuff that they thought about you and said about you and you're just like okay so why couldn't we talk about this when we were friends. friends like why are you waiting until we get into an argument for you to say all this stuff i learned that this year and i was like never again like healthy relationships and communication is so important like if someone does something that bothers you talk about it because they, they want to care or change yeah. and you go about your business, but I feel like you guys need to talk about it. It's crazy. So this is another um, one that I discovered this year, okay? Mm -hmm. I've seen this in the past, but this year was just like the top of the top. If people don't like you, the smallest thing they will use to not be your friend. Like, they, if they don't like you for no reason. Yeah. Like, say, um, I, I don't know what I, something is, but say if... I'm trying to give you guys an example, but just, I hope you guys can understand what like I Like the craziest example. It doesn't even have to be realistic. Okay, so say if like, <clears throat> you were, okay, you kind of got like some weird vibes off this person. Like you could tell like they weren't really too, too like, talk, like a fan of you and stuff. Wait, hold on. They weren't too like a fan of you and just say like something happened. Like, oh, you're walking and like you breathe too hard on them. And then they use that as a reason to hate you for the rest of your life. And you're just like, bro, like, yeah, you really so don't like me because of that. But then when you actually think about it, they just never liked you from, from the get-go. They just wanted a reason not to like you. Just publicly say, like, yeah, I don't like this girl. I don't. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I don't know why I'm saying you know what I mean, but I know <laughs> myself. They, you, you know what she means. Yeah, you know so I realized that this year. There's people who are fake. If people are so quick to stop talking to you like that, just know that they never liked they you were from never a long your, time. Exactly. They, they never were never were your friend. Never. They never liked you. Earlier this year, I got into a little like argument with people, and this one guy, he used it as a reason to not like me. I said, boy, I knew you didn't like me for a long time. Like, he was just like someone that I knew of. And I'm like, you, I can tell you never liked me for a long time. You're using this as a reason to say all the stuff that you wanted to say. And like, he was like saying like how I'm, I act like I'm better than people. And like one, like I'm more than people. I'm like, if you know those me, you people, know yeah. that I'm not, I don't act like I'm better than anybody. Those people, you see, those are people who have problems with themselves. And let's say they're insecure in some way and you're more confident about like carrying yourself a certain way Then they look at it as you trying to be more than or better yeah, than them. Yeah, like what? Mm -hmm. If you guys watch my channel, you guys know that that's not me mm. Today we're up tomorrow. We can be down. There's no reason for you to want like you're more than anyone Anyways, but that's the thing like people will always use it if they didn't like you as an excuse yeah they'll use the small little, smallest thing she came on my property and stepped on my grass because that's how some people down here act it's true um and they use that as a reason why they don't like you so yeah the third thing that i learned a lot this year and even in 12 especially in 2021 is to live your life to the fullest live your life to the fullest because you never know when tomorrow is going to be your last day um and it might not even be your last day but it might be a time where you're unable to do something that you actually wanted to do. Yeah. And I know we all go through these things where, you know, we put something off till next year, we put something off till next week. Like, don't put it off. I mean, if you have to, then you have to. You can't control it. But if you have the funds to travel, if you have the funds to go buy that pizza that you've been wanting to eat, yeah. eat it because life is way too short. And I think we all know that by now, that life is just way too short. So definitely live life to the fullest. And I've always wanted to do things and say, I have the time, I have the time. But we really don't know. We're on a clock. Literally. And we don't know. And people are dead like, 
Oh, no. Like, yeah, <laughs> the simplest things like. No, people are really like losing their lives fast, fast these days, man. Fast, like wrong place, wrong time. Literally. So live life to the fullest. Like if not 2019, 2015, those years that you really thought you were living life to the fullest, now is the time to do it. Obviously, do it responsibly, but like. I agree. Yeah. I agree a hundred percent. You're gonna have this if you're young like us, this is the time you're gonna have the most freedom. Yeah, you make your mistakes children now. and stuff. Make your mistakes when it comes to relationships. Oh, I'm all for dating going too. On date. Yeah. And if you guys if you subscribe to my channel, you guys know I talk about that a lot because you guys need to experience why you guys have the time. Learn from these experiences, which I'm really big on, and you go on with your life. Sometimes mm -hmm. in life you have to take losses and continue, right? But yeah, take that L and move on. Please. I agree. So you guys literally live your life. Try out things, experience things. If mm -hmm. you want to do something tomorrow, do it and mm -hmm. see how it goes. Yeah, and I know someone had commented on my Chucka video. Make sure you watch that if you haven't watched it. But he was like, "Me not like them thing, the not like hearts. You brave for up on hearts, and and I'm just like, you can try it out. Like, you never know. Like, yeah, you try. might think you might not like it until you try it. And horses are so easy to go on. They literally don't move or anything. They like, don't. You just step yeah. up and go on. And, and that goes with anything in life. Like, don't not do something because of the perception. Sorry, guys. Oh, that was my phone. <laughs> don't not do something because of the perception that you might not like it. How do you know you don't like it if you've never tried it? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so definitely live your life to the fullest. That's like today. She made me try um, Jack Daniels honey, honey. Um, liquor, or is it rum? Or the honey, yeah, honey liquor. Is yeah, liquor. it's it gives me like a Bailey's vibes, but it's really good. It's probably the best Jack Jack Jack, Jack Daniels that they have because I had Jack Daniels and it was too strong. That's why they call it a man's drink because of that. But, but that, that one, honey sounds nice. Yeah, you guys will like it. Yeah. It's just a random plug, but it's the same thing. Just try out things. Try it out, yeah. To a certain extent. Yeah, Pizza. like I'm never gonna go try a snail. Don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna try no frog legs or I'm, rats. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Or a dog. If I haven't ate it already, let's be real. Yeah, <laughs> we don't know, but if you if you have if you ate certain cuisine, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, one more thing that I learned this year is well, actually, I don't think I've learned it this year, but it emphasized a lot this year is it's okay to let people come out of your life. Ooh. Once their season is up. Or once, it's, once your season is up in their life, because it doesn't always have to be that from your point of view, it can be from that from their point of view too. It's Let okay. It's time for you to move on, start a new beginning, get some new friends in, get some new um, relationships in, some experiences in. If you came to Jamaica and you lived here for a year and you're just like, you know what, I don't like this anymore. It's okay, move to a different country, move back to where you come from. At least you know, but it's okay. Life is all about literally living, experiencing, as I said, and learning from them and going on just <clears throat> it's okay even but mainly with people like if something doesn't work out you stop being friends with someone or a relationship doesn't work out it, we have to just move on and accept it and know that better will be there mm -hmm. and more opportunities are going to be there in the future yeah, yeah wow. i like it yeah that was a great way to end <laughs> off the video that's ooh. Wow, guys, let me know what you learned this year. Yeah. It could be the smallest thing or something that you're still learning. Um, it could be even a language, sis. Let me know. Let me know what you're learning. Uh, make sure you go and check out Anisha's channel and watch all of her videos. Binge watch every single one of them, <laughs> and then come back and you know share something that you learned on Anisha's channel. That's yeah. the homework. I do Jamaican-based lifestyle content for people who don't know. And I'm starting to do stuff more vlog style since that's what people are like seeing. So you guys can watch that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>